One afternoon on the Isle of Sodor, Thomas, James, Toby, and Percy all stayed together in one spot. I'm bored, said James. I want to do something interesting. How about, said Toby, we rent a movie for today. Engines don't rent movies, Percy argued. Fine, we'll quit the movie, said Toby. How about we tell a story? That's a good idea, said Thomas. Well, Fearless Freddy told me a story of him back in his child, back in his trainhood. And he told it to me. And I'm going now going to tell it to you three. So Percy, Toby, and James all huddled in and started to listen to the story of how Fearless Freddy became Fearless Freddy. Once upon a time, back in the day uh, when the Scarloy Railway was still open, Scarloy and Reneus, who were on the railway, had to be loaned to another railway for a few months. So, to replace him, the manager who ran the yard used another engine. His name was Freddy. At first, uh, Rusty, Peter, Sam, and Stephanie didn't want to do anything with Freddy, since he was new and they didn't know what and to do with them. But Freddy and Sir Handel stayed as best friends when they first met eyes. What can you do, Freddy? Sir Handel had asked. Freddy decided to show Sir Handel what he what kind of things he could do. Freddy could pull heavy long trains as so fast as far as he could go. He could go up and down dangerous uh, lines where very little engines used to go. He could go up long mountain ways and was very brave. But best of all, Freddy knew tracks that very little engines knew about. After a few days, the narrow gauge engines became friends with Freddy. And they loved him. But none were as good as Sir Handel and Fearless Freddy together. One day, Freddy was given an important job to go to the wharf for the first time. Yes, then he screeched, and Freddy saw a crane. However, he didn't know what a crane was, so he had no idea what Colin was. Hello there, Freddy said. I'm Freddy. What's your name? I'm Colin, the crane said, and I'm a crane. Really? said Freddy. Well, this place is nice. I know, said Colin. The wharf is a good place, but I would like to be in the steam engine one day. That way, I could move around. After that, Freddy and Colin were good friends. And they loved to work together all the time. After a few weeks, Freddy earned the title of Fearless Freddy because he was brave and done stunts that no other engine could do. All the narrow gauge engines loved Freddy because he was a kind and young engine. But then one day, Freddy got word from the manager that he was going to have to be loaned for it to another railway. Freddy was sad to leave the narrow gauge railway, but he knew he had to be really useful if he wanted to be loaned to another railway. After a long time of heading to the of puffing around the island, fearless Freddy got to the docks. He was tired by then. A crane loaded him into a barge, and he soon floated away to their other railway. After that day, Peter, Sam, Rusty, and Stephanie forgot about this, about forgot about Fearless Freddy. But Sir Handel never forgot about Freddy at all. He knew that Fearless Freddy would come back one day. And he has, Thomas finished. He returned to Thomas and Friends in the episode Fearless Freddy, which was also his first appearance. And he is still on this railway ever since that episode. However, he doesn't appear that much. The four engines smiled. Now they were not bored and knew the whole truth about Fearless Freddy at the same time.